In this video, we're going to cover some general information about real good layouts. We'll show you how to edit those layouts to reduce waste. So this guest room has a Broadloom product in it. If we want to change the settings for that product, we'll go into the material editor. You can change the width, the seam overlap. This includes an inch extra to the width of the product to give you a little extra for cutting in and the cutting tolerance is added to the ends of each cut so this is added to the length and at six inches overall three inches added to each end you can change the settings for what waste you'd like to use use any waste keep it in the same room or within a radius you can also add a pattern match so generally we're going to select self match pattern you don't really see that many drop repeat patterns and enter the vertical dimension and the horizontal dimension for the pattern you can also select mirror cutting if you were working in a hotel or another area where the areas are mirrored across the hall so what this mirror cutting option does is when you have a room that let's say is sort of an L shape and then you have a room across the hall that is that same shape but the inverse this will run one roll across both as opposed to running a roll here and you have a waste piece here and running roll here and you have a waste piece here so instead it'll just cut that shape out and use one roll across so that's the mirror cutting you can also change the roll lengths so you can change how the pattern is cut you can do cut only on full repeats or you can add a full repeat to the length you can do one, which we don't recommend. This is just cut from one continuous roll. Um, or you can do the custom woven rolls, which is what we recommend in between 60 and 131 feet. You can change these. You can use a fixed length roll if you have 100 foot rolls. Or you can match a stock list by selecting this and entering the roll lengths here. Uh, which you have and it will let you know if you don't have enough material and you can change the layout to see if you can fit those rolls into the layout you can change the cutting order we recommend leaving it as sequential cuts there's another one here that you might need the base skirt height for flash cove materials so if you have a sheet vinyl or another material that is flash coved, you can enter the height of the flash coving in that box and it will calculate extra material for that. And you can also get corner counts with this button. You can turn on T seams, which will save you some material uh, by checking that box. These are also known as cross joins. Uh, essentially what that does is cuts a roll in half to save on waste but you'll end up with a head seam in the middle of your layout so looking at this in the room i have my material in this room i'm going to hit the quantify button and i have all this information on each of my rolls you can control the size of this information with the Control F11 key or Control F12. Control F11 makes it larger and Control F12 makes it smaller. So the information I'm seeing is first the cut number, next the room number, and then the cut length. This will also correspond to my roll cutting sheet. So if I turn that on here, the roll cutting map will show up just to the right of my drawing and I can look for cut number four so it's got the the cut number the room number and the cut length 
and then it has uh, maybe some fill pieces here on the side for um, areas of waste. The fill pieces will be a little different. They'll just have an F in front of the number and then the, the fill number. If you'd like to see how the system is sharing waste, you can turn off the color, turn off the seams, and you'll get this view. Fill pieces will show up in a red hatch, and where those pieces are coming from will show up in a blue hatch. And you can also turn on these lines between the filler and the waste to see exactly where your waste pieces are being reused as fill. These lines can get a bit confusing, and you can see even this plan is a bit spiderwebby with all those lines. So you can control what you see and don't see on this layout in global settings. And to turn off those lines, I'll just uncheck lines between fillers and waste. We would recommend having draw seams only and display seams and thicker pin checked. And then you'll also want section ID and length on cuts and room ID on roll cut. And that will allow you to see the room number and the cut number on the plan. If you'd like to change the layout of a material, you can just double click on a wall. And that will be the new start wall. So that'll change the direction and also the layout. And you can see these hatched lines show where the layout's going to be. And then when I hit my quantify button, it'll generate a new gross quantity and a new waste percentage. So if I want to decrease the waste percentage, I can just kind of play with my start walls and see how that affects the waste. You can adjust a seaming layout with any of these buttons. This cross join button pops in a T seam. So if I select that and click where I'd like to add my T seam, it'll add a head seam there. And that may have knocked the waist down a bit. Uh, so you, you can do those manually as well as in the material editor. The manual gives you more control of exactly where those head seams are going to be. Otherwise, it's just going to place them automatically. This next button, reduce seam width, this can help you get uh, a seam out of a doorway just by reducing the width of a roll and shifting the layout over towards the start wall. So I'll just click where I want to place my new seam. OK, and it will shift. Uh, first of all, reduce the width of this roll and then shift the layout towards the start wall. So that one is reduce roll width. So those are the main tools you can use to adjust a roll layout. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and thanks for watching.